Yes, welcome to another episode of Accounting Academy. This is me, Surendran Bethurpada speaking to you. Today's topic is Measurement of Financial Leverage. Measurement of Financial Leverage. How to measure financial leverage? What is financial leverage? It is the use of fixed cost bearing securities in the capital structure along with equity capital to maximize the return or reward to equity shareholders. So whether the capital structure is financially leveraged or not, that we are going to measure here. Whether the capital structure is levered or unlevered. So for that purpose, earnings before interest and tax and earnings before tax, these two items are taken into account. Financial leverage can be measured with the help of a formula. Financial leverage FL is equal to EBIT divided by EBIT minus I. That means after deducting interest from EBIT, what is left there? EBT. So this EBIT is divided by EBT or EBIT divided by EBT. This is called financial leverage. So, if the resultant figure is more than 1, if the resultant figure is more than 1, that firm can be called as levered firm. If the result or the answer is more than 1, that firm can be called as financially leveraged firm or levered firm. Yes, financial leverage measurement so it is done in this way. Let us see. The next topic that is degree of financial leverage. Degree of financial leverage. Degree of financial leverage, it is the proportion between the proportion of change in operating profit and change in earnings per share. Change in EBIT and change in EPS. So by considering these two items we can measure the degree of financial leverage. That means it is usually used for comparing two alternative course of action. It is usually used for the purpose of comparing two operating profits and if any change is there between two alternatives or two operating profits and what would be the effect on EPS with the changes in uh, operating profit? That is measured here in this degree of financial leverage. It is the end of the level. It is the EBIT. It is the corresponding EPS. It is the same thing. It is the problem. 1 lakh rupees is the operating profit. Then next to 1 lakh 60,000. Operating profit or election the minimum on the Arvada to Marambo EPS Ethrail minimum Ethrail Marum in the Kanapurna, you would a degree of financial leverage in the Barega. Okay, see the impact of change in operating profit that means EBIT uh, and the corresponding change in EPS. And uh, uh, this degree of financial leverage can be measured with the help of a formula. That is, degree of financial leverage is equal to change in, uh, that can be written like this, percentage change in, percentage change in EPS divided by percentage change in EBIT. In EBIT. So what is the percentage change in EPS and the percentage change in EBIT? These two percentage changes are to be measured and divide EPS by uh, EBIT to get the degree of financial leverage. So degree of financial leverage means what is the net impact of a, uh, change in EPS due to the change in EBIT and it is usually used for comparing two stages. Okay. That means uh, increase in EBIT. 
what is the increase in EBIT and what would be the effect of increase in EBIT in EPS and decrease in EBIT one of the things that you can do is the EBIT 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 corresponding to the change in EPS that is the measure of the EBIT is the EBIT is the EBIT that means one base operating profit that is the increase and decrease then only we can calculate the degree of financial leverage okay yes this is degree of financial leverage this can be calculated with the help of this formula percentage change in EPS divided by percentage change in EBIT let us see one question on this topic measurement of financial leverage okay yes calculate the financial leverage from the following information interest rupees 20,000 sales 1,000 units 2 lakh Variable cost 1 lakh and fixed cost to be 60,000. Okay. These informations are given in this question and you are required to calculate the financial leverage. Let us see how to calculate financial leverage from this information. Yes, welcome back. From this information, how can we calculate the operating profit? Operating profit means in uh, earnings before interest and tax. Interest is given there. And before applying the interest, we have to calculate the operating profit. Sales is given, variable cost and fixed cost, these two cost figures are also given. And from these three information, we can calculate the operating profit. Yes, sales, rupees, 1000 units, 2 lakh. Okay, total amount rupees, 2 lakh. Less variable cost, less variable cost variable cost should be deducted from sales so variable cost is equal to rupees 1 lakh okay 1 lakh sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution so this is known as contribution contribution minus fixed cost is equal to operating profit less fixed cost Fixed cost. So this is in the marginal cost statement model. Okay. Fixed cost will be 60,000. So balance will be 40,000. It is called operating profit. Operating profit. So it is otherwise known as EBIT. EBIT is equal to 40,000. And we have to calculate EBT too because in this question you are asked to calculate financial leverage. Okay, financial leverage. Therefore, less interest. Interest is given in the question. Interest as rupees twenty thousand. Okay, interest rupees twenty thousand. Therefore, balance amount is equal to twenty thousand. This is known as earnings before tax. Earnings before Tax. EBIT it is 40,000. EBT is equal to 20,000. Therefore, we can calculate financial leverage. Okay. Financial leverage is equal to leverage is equal to EBIT divided by EBT. That is equal to 40,000 divided by 20,000. That is equal to rupees 2. 2. Okay. 40,000 divided by 20,000, 2. So, as per uh, the financial leverage theory, if this financial leverage is more than 1, that firm can be called as financially leveraged firm. It is a levered firm because it, the uh, figure, resultant figure is more than 1. It is double of 1. Okay. So, that is why it is a good financially leveraged firm according to this problem okay yes after a short break we can go through another problem okay yes question the capital structure of x y limited consists of 12% of 5000 debentures of rupees 100 each and 10000 equity shares of rupees 100 each assuming corporate tax 30 percentage compute earnings per share EPS, if the operating profit EBIT of the company is 3 lakh. Okay, EBIT it is 3 lakh. 
What will be the percentage change in EBIT and EPS if operating profit decreases to 2 lakh and increases to 5 lakh? Also find out the degree of financial leverage at each level. Capital structure at the end of the day. 5,000 debentures of rupees 100 each. 5,000 debentures of rupees 100 each means 5,000 into 100 that is equal to 5 lakh. 5 lakh rupees debentures carrying 12 percent interest. And 10,000 equity shares of rupees 100 each. 10,000 equity shares of rupees 100 each means 1, 10 lakh. Okay, 1 lakh uh, and 10 lakh. 10 lakh rupees equity capital. Assuming corporate tax at 30 percent. 30 percent is corporate tax per Compared to earnings per share if operating profit is 3 lakh. 3 lakh is operating profit per share. EBIT per share. In the session per share. EBIT is going to change EPS. When EBIT is decreases from 3 lakh to 2 lakh and increases to 5 lakh. Moon lecture in the render lecture to Koraimber, EBIT in which a profit and a profit to Koraimber, Engine Ericum, EPS and Swadinikia, Angel lecture to Moon lecture in Kodumbo, Engine Ericum, EPS and Swadinikia. So in all these cases, calculator EPS, EBIT, and percentage change in EPS uh, and EBIT. Okay, so financial leverage degree would be then the calculator and degree of financial leverage calculator chamber. Different plans and one day, but operating profit at different stages than it under 3 lakh, 2 lakh, 5 lakh. So, degree of financial leverage calculate again. Well, let us go to solve the problem. Okay, yes, welcome back. Okay, three cases are given, three EBIT levels are given. We are going to calculate EPS at different levels of EBIT. First, EBIT. E B I T 3 lakh 3 lakh nana information pandrik another okay are the 2 lakh like decrease same but 5 lakh like increase same book in the number of okay 2 lakh E B I T 2 lakh album but in the name E P S in a body here then 5 lakh okay first deduct E uh, I interest from this E B I T interest Interest it is given in your question that interest it is a 12 percentage, 12 percentage of debenture capital. What is the total amount of debenture capital? 50,000 shares, uh, 50,000 debentures of rupees 100 each. That means, wait, 5,000 debentures of rupees 100 each. That means, 5 lakh rupees. 5 lakh rupees it is a total debenture capital. Therefore, 12 percentage of 5 lakh. 12% of 5 lakh is equal to 60,000. 60,000. So it is the same in all the three cases because interest it is fixed. Okay. It is a fixed charge. 2 lakh 40,000. 1 lakh 40,000. And 4 lakh 40,000. So, this is interest chart. And it is known as EBT, earnings before tax. Less tax. Tax it is given in your problem uh, as 30 percentage. 30 percentage of 2 lakh 40,000. What is the amount? 72,000. 72,000. And here it is 1 lakh 40,000 into 30% into 42,000. 42,000. And there 1 lakh 32,000. 1 lakh 32,000. One lakh 68,000. 90. 8000 and 3 lakh 8000 3 lakh 8000 98000 and 1 lakh 68000 so this is known as earnings available to earnings after tax okay earnings after tax it is otherwise known as earnings available to equity shareholders because preference shareholders details it is not given in the question therefore the entire amount belongs to equity shareholders then so this amount, uh, this profit is to be distributed among equity shareholders. Then what is the number of equity shareholders? Number of equity shares. 
equity shares it is given in your question as 10,000 okay 10,000 it is the total number of equity shares just wait okay 10,000 equity shares of rupees 100 rupees therefore here we want only number of equity shares 10,000 10,000 in all these three cases number of equity shares are the same okay uh, number of equity shares 10,000 therefore EPS earnings per share Earnings per share is equal to earnings available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares. That is equal to 16.8. 16.8. And here it is 9.8. And here 30.80. So this is earnings per share. 16.8, 9.8 and 30.80. 80 okay then next change percentage change in percentage change in ebit ebit percentage change in ebit so this is ebit of first level okay so first operating profit 3 lakh and it is declined to 2 lakh increased to 5 lakh moon actually in the render shared to core new then how can we convert the percentage change in EBIT? Percentage change in EBIT is equal to change divided by amount at the first level into 100. Change divided by amount at the first level into 100. Therefore here, moon is in the render action at the corner. If it is double, EBIT change is the first level and double. Second level is change in the third level. Second level is the first level. Because this is the first level to compare here. This is the information. Okay. See, more action, that direction to churu no, every other way, there's some 1 lakh rupees, it is the difference. 1 lakh minus 1 lakh. 1 lakh divided by 3 lakh into 100. Minus 1 lakh divided by 3 lakh into 100, that is equal to how much? 33.33 percentage. So that is minus 33.33 percentage. So it is the percentage change in EBIT in the second stage. Okay. 3 lakh, 5 lakh at the mall, no. More direction, and direction at the mall, no. That's right, with some 2 lakh. The change, it is 2 lakh. Okay, change in it, uh, EBIT uh, can be calculated by using the formula. Change divided by amount of the first level. Change 2 lakh divided by 3 lakh. 2 lakh divided by 3 lakh into 100, that is equal to 66.67. 66.67 percentage. So it is a change when it is increased to 5 lakh. 3 lakh increased to 5 lakh. 66.67 percent. So this is percentage change in EBIT. Next, percentage change in EPS. Change in EPS. Earnings per share. Earnings per share. Here, 16.80. 9.80. Then what is the change? Here it is 7 rupees. Minus 7 on. 7 rupees is okay. So, minus 7 divided by 16.80 into 100. Same equation, same formula, change divided by uh, amount of the first level into 100. Okay. So, uh, the change in the second uh, case is equal to 7 divided by 16.80 into 100. So, that is minus figure. That is uh, equal to 41.67 minus 41.67 percentage. Minus 41.67 percentage. Then, next, 16.80. Uh, so, compare it with 30.80. 16.80, 30.80. Uh, so, what is the difference? Difference is equal to uh, 14 rupees. Okay, rupees 14. 14 divided by 16.80 into 100. That is equal to 83.80. 83.33 percentage 33 percentage okay 40 divided by 16.80 that's equal to 83.33 percentage okay see what about the EBAT EBAT Mopati Mone point Mone Mone Shadamana to Koronapo so when it is a decrease from 3 lakh to 2 lakh Mone Rachel in the direction to Koronapo Mopati Mone point Mone Mone Shadamana Koronapo EPS at the forty one point six seven. Nalpati on a point are a inch of the bank volume. When EBAT increases uh, to sixty six, increases by sixty six point six seven percentage. 
മൂന്ന് ലക്ഷത്തിൽ നിന്നും അഞ്ച് ലക്ഷമായിട്ട് ഉയർന്നപ്പോൾ അറുപത്താറ് പോയിന്റ് ആറ് ഏഴ് ശതമാനം ഉയർന്നപ്പോൾ ഇ പി എസ് ഇൻക്രീസിൽ ബൈ എയ്റ്റി ത്രീ പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ ത്രീ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് എൺപത്തി മൂന്ന് പോയിന്റ് മൂന്ന് മൂന്ന് ശതമാനമായിട്ട് ഇ പി എസ് ഇൻക്രീസ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നു സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദ റീസൺ ദാറ്റ് ദി എക്സിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഓഫ് ഡെപ്റ്റ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ഇൻ ദി ക്യാപിറ്റൽ സ്ട്രക്ചർ ആ ക്യാപിറ്റൽ സ്ട്രക്ചറിനകത്ത് ഡെപ്റ്റ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ഇൻക്രി ഉള്ളത് കൊണ്ടാണ് ഇങ്ങനെയൊരു ഡിഗ്രി ഓഫ് ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ലിവറേജ് വരുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ ഡിഗ്രി ഓഫ് ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ലിവറേജ് ക്യാൻ ബി കാൽക്കുലേറ്റഡ് ബൈ യൂസിംഗ് ദീസ് ദീസ് ഫിഗേഴ്സ് ഡിഗ്രി ഓഫ് ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ലിവറേജ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഡിഗ്രി ഓഫ് ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ലിവറേജ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ഇ പി എസ് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ഇ പി എസ് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ ഇ ബി ഐ ടി പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ഇ ബി ഐ ടി പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ഇ പി എസ് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ഇ ബി ഐ ഫസ്റ്റ് ലെവലിൽ ഉണ്ടാവില്ല ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ഇതിനകത്ത് ഇല്ല സോ സെക്കൻഡ് ലെവലിലേക്ക് വരുമ്പോൾ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ഇ പി എസ് ഇസ് ഇവല് ഫോർട്ടി വൺ പോയിന്റ് സിക്സ് സെവൻ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ തേർട്ടി ത്രീ പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ ത്രീ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ദൻ ഇസ് ഇവൽ വൺ പോയിന്റ് ടു ഫൈവ് ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എയ്റ്റി ത്രീ പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ ത്രീ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ സിക്സ്റ്റി സിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് സിക്സ് സെവൻ ദൻ ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു വൺ അഗെയിൻ വൺ പോയിന്റ് ടു ഫൈവ് സോ ഇവിടെ വൺ പോയിന്റ് ടു ഫൈവ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ആനുപാതികമായിട്ടുള്ള വർധനവാണ് ഉണ്ടാവുന്നത് എന്നാണ് ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ലിവറേജിന്റെ ഇൻക്രീസ് അത് ഇൻക്രീസ് ആണെങ്കിലും ഡിക്രീസ് ആണെങ്കിലും അതിന് ആനുപാതികമായിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇതുണ്ടാവും കുറയുന്നത് എത്രയാണോ അതിനനുസരിച്ച് തന്നെ കൂടുകയും ചെയ്യും ഓക്കെ സോ ബെൻ ത്രീ ലാക്ക് ഇൻക്രീസസ് അപ് ടു ഫൈവ് ലാക്ക് റുപ്പീസ് യു കാൻ സി എ പ്രപ്പോർഷനേറ്റ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ഇ പി എസ് ആൾ സോ പ്രപ്പോർഷനേറ്റ് ചേഞ്ച് മീൻസ് ഇ പി എസ് അതിനനുസരിച്ച് എങ്ങനെയാണോ എത്ര രൂപയാണോ വളരുന്നത് എത്രയാണോ ഇ പി എസ് വളരുന്നത് അതേപോലെ തന്നെ താഴോട്ട് വരുമ്പോൾ ഇ പി എസ് അതിനനുസരിച്ച് താഴുന്നു എന്നതാണ് so this is the impact of eps due to the change in ebit so this is calculated with the help of degree of financial leverage degree of financial leverage is equal to percentage change in eps divided by percentage change in ebit adu 1.25 aanu 1.25 aanu evide aanengil 1.25 aayittu maarum adu increase um decrease aanengilum ore effect thaniyana etra benefit kittunnando ഫിക്സഡ് കോസ്റ്റ് ബാലൻസ് സെക്യൂരിറ്റീസ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ സ്ട്രക്ചർ അത് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നതുകൊണ്ട് അതേപോലെ തന്നെ അഡ്വേഴ്സ് എഫക്റ്റും അതുകൊണ്ട് ഉണ്ടാവുന്നു എന്നാണ് ഈ ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ലിവറേജിന്റെ ഡിഗ്രി മെഷർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ലിവറേജ് ആൻഡ് മെഷർമെന്റ് ഓഫ് ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ലിവറേജ് ആൻഡ് ഡിഗ്രി ഓഫ് ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ലിവറേജ് ഇസ